Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a good old repressing session. So I have a couple products here that I want to repress from my year-long rolling project pan. We have a highlighter in this palette which is this one here which is the one I'm currently working on. I want to repress that. We also have my bronzer from that project also in dire need of being repressed. Um, and then lastly we have one of my eyeshadows I'm working on that project which is my Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in Amaze. So my plan today is to repress all of them. With this highlighter here I'm actually planning to franken it a little bit. I'm going to bring in one of the shades from my Panda palette which is the Soft Glam palette. Um, I actually haven't filmed the update yet for this one but I'm going to film that tomorrow. Um, and I have taken like before and after photos and everything before I take something out of this palette. But by the time you see this video, my <laughs> update have been like well and truly passed. I think I'm posting this like, I don't know, th two, three weeks after. So just know that this was filmed quite a while ago. And for reference, it is the 29th of March today. Just so you know when I'm filming this. But I wanted to film this straight after my rolling product pan update just so I can like repress these before I start getting progress on them. So that is my plan today. Um, I'm thinking which one I should start with. I think I want to start with the highlighter and then do the franken as well of this one um, and then move on to these two next. But before I jump into all of that, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So we have this highlighter palette right there and then we also have my panda palette. So the shade that I'm thinking about bringing in a little bit of is this one here, which is the shade Glistening. Just to deepen this one up a tiny bit because it is quite a stark highlighter. I'm not going to bring in too too much but that is my plan just to kind of franken those two together and also help get some progress on glistening. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by breaking this up in here and then I'm going to take some of glistening in afterwards. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start. This is also very like, scary and exciting. Um, I'm thinking if I should just mix it up in here. Or if I should take it out on a piece of paper. I think I'm going to take it out on a piece of paper just to more easily mix with glistening as well. So let me just slightly break this up and I'm going to pour it out on a piece of paper. And this is usually how I do my repressing. I usually use a piece of paper to kind of help, um, I don't know, just like break up the powder better. Um, and then you can also create like a funnel to easily pour it back in to the pan again. So that is the highlight there. I don't have much left of it and um, but also that's like why I want to repress it. So I'm just going to start by like crushing this up. Okay something like that. So I'm going to put this to the side and then I'm going to take a little bit of glistening and I'm going to try to gently scrape this and try not to like dig a hole. I just want to gently take off a top layer uh, to put in. I don't know how much I'm going to use but I'm not going to use too too much I think so yeah maybe I will start with something like that. Again it's just to dar darken up this highlighter just like a tiny bit so let me dump that in. So that is how much it is and um, honestly that's not much but again I don't want to deepen this up too too much so I'm going to try mixing this in and see how it goes. Something like that and let me swatch it out. Um, it's still pretty stark isn't it? Um, do I want to add some more? Maybe I'll add a little bit more. Use a tiny bit more of glistening used to help again with the shade of this and also to get some more progress on glistening. Also glistening isn't really my favorite shade to use on my eyes anymore. It's way too satiny for what I usually go for. So I think it's going to work better in like a highlighting manner. So yeah, something like that maybe. Um, I still have a decent amount of glistening left. So I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I think that's going to be a good amount. So let me mix up that last bit that I put in. And we have something like that. So let me see what this swatch is like. Okay, I think that's a little bit less dark. It's definitely better. So I'm going to go ahead and repress it like this. 
And this is when the paper comes in handy um, because what you can do is you can create like a funnel with the paper. So if you use folded, it will help create a funnel so you can easily get it back into the pan. Uh, so let me do that now. And there we have it and basically no product lost. So we have everything now in the pan. Um, it looks like a lot of product, but I hope it's going to go down when I press it. So I'm going to go ahead and add some alcohol to this um, and then can start repressing it. So I have this little old Inglot container with some alcohol in it. I'm just going to pour it because I think I'll need a decent amount. Something like that. So let me mix that up and see how it goes. Okay, so there we have the product in the pan. I'm going to go ahead and press this down now with some tissue um, and then that will, will be done. There's some tissue paper right there. And it's going to use that to first up soak up, up the excess, um, what's it called, alcohol. <laughs> and then slowly pressing it as well. So something like that. And we're going to go ahead and do it again. I'm not going to press this too hard because sometimes I feel like I press... Face products too hard and then they're like really, really difficult to pick up. So let me go ahead and just try to press all the corners as well. And there we have that product. It looks like there's a lot in there, but I think it's pretty shallow. Um, it's maybe not the most even repressed, but I think that will work. Um, and yeah, it's going to be way easier to use it this way. And I'm hoping the shade is going to be a little bit better for me as well. So that is the first product done. And I'm just going to clean off the paper with that same tissue just to move on to like yeah, make it clear for the next product. And also for reference, I'm now done with this Panda palette. I'm not going to take anything else from it. I just wanted to take a little bit of glistening, but this one is uh, not going to go to the side. So I think next up I'm going to go ahead and do the bronzer. Or do I want to do that actually? I'm going to do the bronzer next, I think. So this is what this one looks like. I'm actually going to take this part out because this one has actually broken. The packaging is broken. So I'm going to take this part out because it's going to be easier to handle um, and go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and crush this up again um, so we can get this one started to be repressed. I'm actually wondering if I even need a paper for this one because the pan is quite large. So I might just be able to mix it up in this like pan. pan. So let me just go and break this up. Okay, so I accidentally spilled some. Whoops. Um, let me try to pick that up. Put that back in. You yes, I'm not losing any product. Um, so that is that. Let me crush this up again. So there we have crushed up something like that. And again, I'm going to add in some alcohol just to start wetting this down. I might need more than what's in here, but I do have more in a different container, but I'm just going to use what I have here. No, I'm definitely going to need more. Let me go and get some more alcohol. So I also have alcohol, like I'm storing it in this plastic bottle right here. So I'm just going to pour in some a little bit from this one. Okay, that might have been a lot, but we'll see how that goes. So let me mix this all up. So there we have that. I'm going to try to repress it more in the center. So let me go ahead and start pressing this. And there we have that repress. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I think it's going to work better this way. Again, going to be way easier to pick up. So we have the second product done. So the last thing we're going to repress today is the eyeshadow from Colourpop. This is again the Super Shock Shadow in a Maze. Um, this one it could have probably waited a little bit longer to repress, but since I'm repressing in a way today, I thought I would just go ahead and do it. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and break this up. Since it is a super shock shadow, it's going to be a little bit creamier already. But I'm going to try to like focus this into the middle of the pan.
And since it's a shimmer, I don't think I need to break it up very much. I'm going to ahead and just add a tiny bit of alcohol to this, just to make it easier to repress. Something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and use, use some tissue. I think this should be fine. If it doesn't work, I can always break it up again and retry. But since it's a shimmer and since it's already like more of a cream eyeshadow, I think the repressing like this would work pretty good. So let me go ahead and just try to press this down. And I put a lot of alcohol in, but that's fine because it will evaporate anyway. So something like that. See, that works really well. I don't really have to break it up at all. So let me just press it a little bit again just to really get it in there. And I feel like I can press shadows a little bit harder, um, especially these super soak shadows because I feel like they're a little bit fragile anyway. So they usually like flake off if you haven't pressed them hard enough. So yeah, something like this. And I believe this one it's already done as well. So there we have that final repress of the Super Shock Shadow in a maze. And that's also going to be the last one that we're repressing today. So we have my three products right here. And these are going to be way easier to use now. Looking like this. Um, I'm going to let these dry obviously, then I'm going to take some more footage on them so I can include them in my next update. But my goal eventually was to like finish up at least try to finish this up these two up relatively soon i'm hoping to have at least one of these two up uh, finished by next update i don't know how long it's going to take hopefully the bronzer can be done at least maybe the highlighter i mean it looks like there's a lot of product in here now because it is like covering the pan but looking at it it's quite shallow so we'll see um the super shadow i'm not expecting to finish next month i just wanted to repress that today like i said so that is going to be it for this video you guys i really really hope you enjoyed it if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of more chilled out, just like hanging out, depressing, organizing, that kind of stuff, please let me know. And I'm happy to do more in the future. But again, that is it for today. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. And I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.